Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about Brown Sequard syndrome. We will discuss this MCQ at the end of this video. But first, let's do a quick review of neuroanatomy of a spinal cord tract. In transverse section from anterior to posterior, we can find anterior lateral spinothalamic, corticospinal, and dorsal column tract. Anterior lateral spinothalamic tract carries sensation of crudges, pain, and temperature from contralateral side. This is because these fibers cross the midline before being relayed to the higher centers. Corticospinal tract transfers motor impulses to supply ipsilateral muscles. Dorsal column tract carries ipsilateral fine touch, vibration sense, proprioception, and two point discrimination sense. Talking about etiology of Brown Sequard syndrome, it is caused by damage to one half of the spinal cord. It is done by trauma, tumor, ischemia of the spinal cord, and degenerative dis diseases. These lesions damage one half of the spinal cord along with dorsal column tract, corticospinal tract, and anterolateral spinothalamic tract, which leads to partial to complete loss of their functions. Let's summarize. Brown Sequard syndrome is caused by damage to one half of spinal cord. It manifests as ipsilateral paralysis or muscle weakness, ipsilateral loss of fine touch, vibration, proprioception, and two point discrimination sensation. It also leads to contralateral loss of crude touch, pain, and temperature sensation. Investigation of choice is MRI. Back to the MCQ. False about Brown Sequard syndrome. The answer is option A, ipsilateral loss of pain and temperature. It is false because there is contralateral loss of pain and temperature sensation due to midline crossing of fibers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Do follow our Instagram page for regular videos. Thank you.